Hi, I'm Daniel Vesotis, and after more than 40 years in the hospitality industry, owning and operating hotels under brands like Marriott, Hilton, and IHG, and managing luxury villas and short-term rentals across the world, I can tell you one thing with absolute certainty. The hospitality industry is going through the biggest transformation since the invention of online booking. And the driving force behind it isn't a new brand, a new loyalty program, or even a new travel trend. It's artificial intelligence. We're at the point where technology isn't just helping us run better hotels or rentals. It's redefining what hospitality means altogether. So let me ask you, what happens when your next hotel check-in doesn't involve a person at all? When your Airbnb messages are answered before you even see them? or when your property predicts maintenance issues before they happen. That's not the future, that's happening right now. Welcome to Hospitality in 2025. Before I go any further, a quick discla disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. I don't offer financial or investment advice. Any reference to blockchain or tokenization or DeFi are purely informational and connected to hospitality and real estate innovation. Now let's talk about what, what's really going on behind the scenes. AI is reshaping both hotels and short-term rentals from the inside out. Take Hilton, for example. They introduced an AI-powered concierge named Connie, built on IBM Watson. Connie greets guests, answers questions about local attractions, and even adapts over time based on what people ask. It's like a digital version of that front desk agent who remembers you every time you come, you, know, you come back. Marriott has gone all in on predictive maintenance. Their AI tracks mechanical systems and fix problems before they can cause guest complaints. And IHG has built entire AI marketing systems that analyze millions of data points so they can send you offers that actually matter. Not just random emails, but deals tied to your personal travel history and preferences. Then there's a core, which is using AI to reduce energy consumption and track sustainability goals across hundreds of hotels. It's not just about efficiency, it's about responsibility. The industry has reached a point where AI isn't just an add-on feature, it's becoming part of the brand identity itself. Now, on the other hand, uh, the other side of the spectrum, Airbnb is quietly becoming a tech powerhouse. Their AI doesn't just suggest prices or filter listings, it's managing entire guest experiences. It adjusts nightly rates automatically based on market demand, it scan reviews for flag, and to flag fraudulent listing, and even helps hosts write better descriptions for their property. Some hosts are using AI-powered chatbots to handle 90% of guest inquiries from where's the nearest coffee shop to what time is checkout. One host I spoke to said AI tools cut her workload in half but doubled her reviews. And when I asked her how, she said because I finally had time to be human again. She wasn't stuck answering repetitive questions. She could focus on personal touches like handwritten notes or custom welcome baskets. That's the irony. AI is making hospitality more human. Behind all this technology, there's an invisible workforce running 24 hours a day. AI systems handle revenue management, scheduling, guest communication, and predictive maintenance. It's like having 10 managers working around the clock, only they don't sleep. They don't take breaks, and they never forget a detail. Hotels are using AI to manage price dynamically, adjusting rates in real time based on competitor data, demand spikes, or even weather forecasts. In restaurants, in room service, AI is predicting food demand, cut, cutting down waste and improving margins. And property managers now use AI scheduling systems that automatically coordinate cleaning crews between guest stays optimizing every single turnaround. It's easy to think this means people are being replaced, but what it really, what's really happening is that people are being repositioned. Instead of doing repetitive administrative work, they're free to focus on relationships and creativity. That's the real magic of this shift. AI handles efficiency, humans handle empathy. 
And that's important because the heart of hospitality has always been emotional. Guests don't remember the check-in app or the pillow firmness. They remember how, they made, how you made them feel. The best hotel brands already blending human and digital seamlessly. Take Ritz-Carlton. They're using AI to surface a guest's history and preference so the staff can personalize every detail. They call it enhancing memory. When an associate greets you by name and knows what kind of wine you like, it's not luck, it's data used with empathy. That's how AI should be used, not to replace people, but to make them more human in their service. All this is powered by one thing, data. Hospitality has always run on data, occupancy rates, average daily rates, guest satisfaction, but until recently, it was slowed and fragmented. AI changes that completely. Hotels can now analyze millions of data points instantly and use them to make smarter, faster decisions. Managers get predictive insights that used to take days of manual reporting. And this isn't just limited to large hotels change. Even small boutique operators now have access to AI-powered dashboards that use only exist that used only in, in Fortune 500 boardrooms. That's why we're seeing hotels and Airbnb learning from each other. Hotels are taking cues from Airbnb's flexibility and personalization, where Airbnb hosts are adopting hotel level professionalism and consistency. AI is the bridge that brings both worlds together. The next big leap is predictive technology. Hilton's AI can now forecast staffing needs for the next week's week based on booking patterns, events, and even local flight data. For your Airbnb host, predictive tools analyze neighborhood occupancy trends and automatically adjust pricing or promotes to stay competitive. Some platforms are even testing AI systems that can detect when a guest might leave a bad review and send them a proactive offer or apology before it even gets posted. Imagine that hospitality that anticipates disappointment before it even happens. On the guest side, AI is challenging the stay itself. In-room in room assistants like Alexa for hospitality can now control lighting, temperature, and entertainment. But they're also learning preferences, so you always ask for the same room temperature or same type of pillow. It's automatically set the next time. AI-driven concierge are being tested that can chat, text, or even appear as holograms handling everything from dinner reservations to flight changes. But the most powerful thing AI is doing is making personalization scalable. Whether you run one Airbnb or a 500 room resort, every guest can have an experience that feels designed just for them. Imagine arriving at a villa and finding a yoga mat already laid out because your booking history showed you prefer wellness retreats or checking into a hotel where your room is pre-stocked with sparkling water because that's what you ordered last time. AI remembers, connects, and anticipates quietly, invisibly, and consistently. Of course, all this innovation comes with challenges. AI raises real concerns about privacy, data, ownership, and transparency. Who controls all this information? How do we ensure personalization doesn't become surveillance? And what happens to employees whose jobs are automated. Forward-thinking hotel groups are already addressing these questions. Some are introducing staff training programs that teach employees how to work with AI tools, not against them. Others are hiring AI hospitality coordinators, a brand new role that focuses on managing tech integrations and guest data responsibility. The key is mindset instead of asking Will AI replace me? The question should be, how can AI help me to do my job better? Looking ahead, AI will always play a major role in sustainability. Imagine systems that automatically shut off power in unused areas, adjust HVAC based on guest activity, or track carbon emissions in real time. The next generation of hotels won't just be smart, they'll be sustainable by design. AI will also make trip planning frictionless. Soon you'll be able to say, plan me a weekend in Santorini. Your digital assistant will book flights, hotel experiences, and even restaurant reservations based on your budget and travel style. It's not science fiction. 
prototypes already exist. In the near future, hospitality won't be just about places to stay. It'll be about experiences intelligent, intelligently crafted for each traveler. And that's where the industry is heading. AI handling the logistics, humans curating emotion. But here's the part I love the most. The human element still wins. Even as AI gets smarter, people will always crave connection. The warm greetings, the genuine smile, the small talk at breakfast, those things can't be coded. They're, irre they're irreplaceable. I believe the future of hospitality belongs to those who embrace both. The precision of technology and the heart of human service. AI can make things faster, cheaper, and more accurate, but people make things meaningful. As we move into 2025, we're not watching the end of hospitality. We're witnessing its evolution. The properties that adapt will run smarter, deliver better service, and build deeper loyalty. But the real winners will be those who never forget why people travel in the first place, to feel something, to connect, to experience. And as someone who's lived the industry from the ground up, I can tell you, AI is not the enemy of hospitality. It's the next chapter. It's the silent partner helping us raise standards, increase efficiency, and create more memorable stays. Thank you for watching. This video is for educational purposes only. I don't offer financial advice or investment services. Any reference to blockchain tokenization or DeFi are purely informational and connected to hospitality and real estate innovation. I'm Daniel Vesotis, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll keep exploring the future of hospitality, real estate, blockchain, and tokenization.